In the name of the Emperor, finish this! Planet Cronus, beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, ancient enemies of the Necrons, emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers, Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions, and the total defeat of all others. The Space Marines of the Blood Ravens chapter arrived on Cronus like the mailed fist of the Emperor. Acting under orders from his chapter master and chief librarian, young brother Captain Davian Thule ordered the Blood Ravens to carry out a thorough purge of this world. The chapter master had told Thule that ancient relics of the chapter were hidden on Cronus. Artifacts from the mysterious early years of the Blood Ravens. These sacred items could not be allowed to fall into alien hands. Captain Thule ordered the withdrawal of the Imperial Guard forces stationed in Victory Bay. But Governor Alexander flatly refused to pull his men back. Thule judged the governor a good man, but had little choice but to send his Space Marines to battle the Governor's troops, along with all the other powers on Cronus. The Blood Raven's willingness to fight soldiers of the Imperium did not go unnoticed. Whispers began that the relics on Cronus were more damning than holy. Only the war's victors would be left to decide the truth of the matter. Once a thriving industrial center, 
By the beginning of the Dark Crusade, the Vandian coast had fallen into disuse. Some factories in the cities were still operational, but other great underground refineries languished under the sands of the coast, long since abandoned as unnecessary by the planet's Tau masters. Whoever gained control of the coast would enjoy a powerful advantage for the rest of the Crusade. With such potent manufacturing facilities, field commanders could requisition more weapons than their foes. Lord. Charge! Walk softly and carry a big We are the Emperor's chosen. Charge! I await your instructions. Ever vigilant. Oh, my lord, on the first stage of the ground. Beware the alien, the mutant, the head. Fear not the sight. Awaiting orders. At your disposal. I stand ready. Heresy grows from ice. Squad morale restored. What's your order? Squad deploy. Rhino here. Rhino transport. Yes, my lord. Under fire. Charge. Stay vigilant, Under fire! Fear the nice thing, Yes, my lord. Oh, Weapons and ready. Walk upon the the nice Cleanse, By the Emperor's shell. Fear the nice thing. Awaiting orders. By the Emperor's yes, shell. Yes, my lord. Sir. What's your order? Direct us to the enemy. By the Emperor's shot. You're under fire. Rhino ready. At your command. By the Emperor's shout. Face it. The enemy's on fire. By the Emperor's shout. Fear the nice face. Rhino here. At your command. For much of the Dark Crusade, great fleets plied the orbital lanes above the battlefields of Cronus, using their firepower to ground long-range flights. Guardsmen and heretic alike had to fight meter by bloody meter, with great battle fleets exchanging fire across the skies. Trench warfare seemed an immutable fact of life for commanders on the ground. All this changed with the Battle of Pavonis. 
The spaceport featured an ancient Adeptus Mechanicus tracking system merged with the alien technologies of the Tau Aircast. This system was sensitive enough to plot courses that avoided orbital fire, making strikes deep into enemy territory possible. A tech priest had discovered this technological marvel and left his servitors to examine it in detail. Whichever force was able to recover, these bionic servants would gain control of the station and be able to launch strikes across Cronus. One of the tech priest's servitors. Bring it to our stronghold. Oh, yeah, we're we're done, brothers. We've safely recovered a servitor. We will need more to bring the spaceport back online. Take uh. heed, brothers. The enemy is gathering servitors as well. My aim shall not falter! Ever vigilant. Praise the Emperor. My aim shall not falter! Under fire! Scouts ready. Scouts charge. My faith is my The enemy is on the verge of victory, Scouts brothers. Ready. We Actual must command. succeed here! Scouts the Emperor wills it! Rhino One of the tech priest's servitors. Bring it to our stronghold. This is where I need to redeploy. Rhino transport is prepared. Squad deploy. Rhino transport is prepared. Rhino ready. I shall not fail. Taking command. The Emperor is with us, victory. brothers. Victory is I ours. Stand ready. By the Emperor it shall be. workers never realized it, the mines of Cronus's Hyperion Peaks featured powerful ore-refining machines left there by the tech priests of Mars. These ancient ore processing and field manufacturing plants took on a more martial aspect during the Dark Crusade. Indeed, these same devices could, with relative ease, be made to produce military structures or the processed materials needed to assemble them in the field. Those in control of this facility thus gained the ability to rapidly build forward bases as they pushed across Cronus. The peaks were a difficult battlefield, however. Isolated from standard supply lines, those trying to take the mines were forced to send in a single armored column, ordered to wipe out all enemy structures. Without reinforcements, the tank commanders were on their own. We stand ready. Still so. Faith is eternal. We stand ready. Yes, my lord. Orders received. Even in death, I still serve. Where are we going to attack here? And he's the best we've seen. Ever vigilant. Direct us to the enemy. At last, but the enemy. Direct us to the enemy. We stand ready. Command me. Where are we here? Ever vigilant. At last, back to war. Knowledge is power. I did We stand ready. At last, back to war. Where are we going to attack here? Ever vigilant. 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 Ever Ever 
It was during the Horus Heresy that the influence of Chaos first drove Space Marine against Space Marine. Cronus witnessed some of this terrible fighting, and the heretics of those ancient times left behind them terrible artifacts. In the desolate Ares Badlands stood one such talisman, an ancient icon of the blood god Khorne. With war sweeping Cronus once more, a demon within the Icon awoke. It fed on the souls of those slain in combat, and promised gifts to whoever would slake its thirst for blood. Even the warriors of the Imperium ended up feeding the Fiend as they fought across the Badlands to prevent others from claiming this prize. The Faithful tried to ignore the whispers the demon slipped into their minds, but every death still fed its dark appetite. In the end, whoever controlled the Ares Badlands would gain a measure of the demon's fury, allowing them to launch attack after attack against their enemies. Rhino here. One morale restored. Rhino here. Oh boy, you fall upon the blood-stained ground. The battlefield yes. awaits. Just a few souls more. The battlefield awaits. The power of the blood the god battle shall be yours. Upon arriving on Cronus, General Lucas Alexander became Governor Militant. 
and set about reclaiming the planet for the Imperium. When his enemies launched attacks on his capital, he prepared to repel them with extreme prejudice. Experts in planetary defense, the men of the Imperial Guard, were heavily dug in and fortified in Victory Bay. Any attacker would face well-armed and well-supplied soldiers, backed by powerful armored columns and artillery positions. The Guard's only real weakness was its morale. Although most soldiers served honorably, the men of the regiment's 5th Company had proven less than stalwart, and were placed under command of Regimental Commissar Anton Gebet in a forward base on the northern shore of the Victoria River. Without Gebet's whip, the company and its base would surely fold. Other companies took position in forward bases in more sensitive areas, ready to drive the enemy off. Still, determined attackers could overrun those positions. Governor Alexander remained confident, however. Indeed, any opponent who made it past his forward positions would find themselves staring down the barrel of the massive Hellstorm cannon of an Imperator Titan. Fifth Company, this is the moment of truth. You will not fear. You will not falter. You will not give a single step to the enemy. But, sir... If you will not serve in combat, then you will serve on the firing line. Enemies of the Imperium, hear me. You have come here to die. The Immortal Emperor is with us, and we are invincible. His soldiers will strike you down. His war machines will crush you under their treads. His mighty guns will bring the very sky crashing down upon you. You cannot win. The Emperor has given us his greatest weapon to wield. So make yourselves ready. We are the 1st Cronus Regiment, and today is our victory day. Stand ready. General Take Alexander. This is your last chance. Your order. We Take purge this world under the authority of the Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. Withdraw your men to orbit, and our conflict can still end peacefully. I have the utmost respect for the Emperor's Space Marines and their millennia of service, Captain Fuel. But my what orders are explicit will? and come directly from Segmentum Command. I cannot withdraw. Then the time for talk is over. Charge. He who stands with me shall be my brother. At your command. Charge! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Praise the Emperor. Walk softly and carry a big gun. Beneficent one. Heresy to He who stands with me. You won't take Victory brother. Bay that easily. Push back the front line, men. We won't let you down, sir. On alert, brothers. The Under enemy fire. must be nearby. What is your order? Orders received, brother. Weapons at ready. It is time. Second platoon, attack! Under fire! Send a platoon to secure that location. Executing your orders, sir! An open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. Beware the enemy disrupt this attack. Tell the Vindicare Temple to eliminate their commander. One chance is all I need. Yes, Lord. I shall obey. The fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. At 
your command. How can I serve? Predator tank here. Predator at your command. Ready. A father here. Direct us to the enemy. The fallen shall wait in order to remember as the Emperor's finest. What are your needs? Yes, my lord. Maintain the battlefield awaits. How can I serve? How can I serve? Fire in the hole! There is no such thing as innocence. Space Marines! Oh, this will be ugly. First company, hold the enemy back, no matter the cost! Heresy grows. My fallen shall be forever. No servant of the Emperor shall fall in my hands. Charge! What are your needs? I follow your commands. The enemies of the Emperor shall be destroyed. Direct me to the injured. Here. Ever vigilant, the battlefield awaits your order. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. How Liberators, the, the enemy has made it to the northern shore. Redeploy to drive them back. The fallen shall be your command. I remember as the Emperor we stands fight. ready. Yes, my lord. The battlefield awaits your command. What awaits your order? What Stay your vigilant, order? brother. The battlefield awaits your order. Stay your order. Under fire! How can I serve? At your command. Fear not, How can I serve? Fate is our shield. What are your needs? What's your order? How can I serve? Fate is our shield. A father here. The enemies of At your command shall be destroyed. Fire control. Oh, your Initiate strafing run. Now you will see what it means to face the Imperial Guard. Artillery, open fire! The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's Rally squad! The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. Awaiting orders. Look out! Here they come! Second well, mechanized the company, the, the enemy is at your doorstep! Be Push them back, dammit! Praise the Emperor. He who stands with me shall be my brother. We shall know what the Emperor is. The Emperor is the Emperor. The Emperor. Our air support is gone. Fire the instrument of his will. Fire. We're under fire! 
Third Company, hold the line! The Under Emperor demands it! Alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. My fate is my ship. Command me. Here to serve. Go, go, go! On my command, fire the Titan cannon. Fire! My aim shall not falter. Well, the enemy is the enemy is fallen, General, and your soldiers are in open revolt. Surely you can see the end as it had. The blood of the Emperor's servants is on your hands, Space Marine. My aim shall not falter. Yes. Rhino here. Time for payback! The Rhino transport is prepared. The Titan power grid is under attack. Redirect fire to protect it and initiate repairs. I will the ease the machine. Be Just the keep Emperor's it online, fires. tech priest. Fear not, under fire. The battlefield awaits. Awaiting orders. The battlefield awaits. The battlefield awaits. We are the Emperor's Choice. Show your needs. How can I serve? We are the Emperor's Chosen. What are your needs? Direct us to the enemy. The battlefield awaits. We are the Emperor's I am under attack! The Protect those generators, men. As the Emperor's fighters. The fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. The enemy's building generators to feed power to the Titan Cannon. This will allow them to fire the great gun. Damnation! Attention all troops! The enemy has control of the Titan gun. Use extreme caution when passing through the trench. Under fire, the fallen shall be forever. The Emperor's fire. 
These space marines are gripped by madness, men. They fight against the Emperor's holy will. I will not be called a traitor, General. You haven't silenced me yet, Blood Raven. The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. Under fire! How can I serve? Yes, death on the road to disappointment. The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. The enemies of the Emperor shall be destroyed. How can I serve? The battlefield awaits. The fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. The fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. We can't hold them back much longer. We can't allow the Titan Cannon to fall into their hands. Overload the core. Ah, oh, the Emperor. leveled the Governor Militant's palace in Victory Bay. They brought an end to a sad conflict within the Imperium. Both Captain Fuel and Governor Alexander were acting under orders of their superiors, and neither could back down when those orders brought them into conflict. Captain Fuel and Chaplain Nicholas went so far as to praise the slain Governor for his stalwart dedication to his orders. With his death, they arranged for the transport of the surviving guardsmen off-world. Most were sent towards Segmentum Command, with testimonials that they had done their regiment proud. The Blood Ravens were less forgiving to the rebellious guardsmen of the 5th Company. Although these men had shouted their loyalty to the Emperor's Angels of Death upon the death of Commissar Gebet, the Space Marines showed them no favor. Indeed, these guardsmen had taken up arms against their regiment, and the Blood Ravens judged them traitors to be executed. Eldar rely on stealth and trickery where others trust in direct force and valor. An ancient and debased people, the aliens only sully their hands in battle when they have no choice. When the Eldar's enemies at last track down their hidden base of operations in Tyria, the far seer Taldir turned to a strategy of trickery. In this, she followed the ways of her ancient and deceitful race. Her forces were centered on a great reinforced hill in a remote, frozen area with very limited access. To cut off these access points, the Farseer lured cat's paws to Tyria. Orcs, dissatisfied with the war of Warlord Gorguts, followed advice whispered by Taldir's warlocks and camped right where they could screen the Eldar from attackers. The Eldar, nevertheless, built a substantial force of their own. Advanced webway gates allowed them to ferry troops from the wraith ship hiding behind a hollow field somewhere in the Krona system. But these same gates were the Eldar's great weakness. If attackers could take and hold them, Taldir would be cut off from reinforcements and any hope of escape. Alone and outnumbered, the Eldar would be caught in their own trap.
is prepared. Excellent. Exarch Rakanis, take your warp spiders to their positions and then return to the Aspect Shrine. We are on our way. You have doubts, Harlequin? I trust in your vision, tall dear of Othway, but to stand surrounded by primitives makes me uneasy. I understand your distaste, but Eldar rely on speed and stealth. We are not made for entrenched positions. The orcs, however, make for excellent tools. They will keep the supply roads closed and our true enemies weak. And if these attackers defeat the orcs? I do not doubt they will overcome our cat's paws, but it will cost them. And in their weakened state, they will face the Wailing Doom itself. The Seer Council has named the Young King. Exarch Rakanis of the Warp Spider Shrine shall sacrifice himself to awaken our most powerful warrior, the Avatar of Cain. None shall escape my wrath. Vigilant. Captain, Deva, we have discovered an elder forward encampment. The Farseer herself is there. In such an exposed location. With any luck, we may be able to eliminate the alien in one stroke. Awaiting orders. For the Emperor! The Emperor protects. What is Never no vigilant. Yes. Destroy the armor. Orders wow. received. There's more than just puny elders Thank here. You, we was right to split I off from Gorgut's lot. We're gonna have us a proper war right here! Wah! One. We should use the squiggers on them! No, leave them be! The squiggers ain't trained yet! And I don't wanna get stuck scraping bits of you after their feet! To battle! Under fire! Beware the alien! What's your order? A fast strike in and out. I am the Emperor's will made manifest. Rhino straight to the front line. Rhino trail squad is prepared. Return to the main base. Let our enemies fight amongst themselves. I will kill you first, and then scourge any elder I can find. The enemy must be nearby. Praise the Bastion the Emperor. remains strong, Farseer. But the weapon gates to your mission are vulnerable. Our course is clear then. Protect the gates at all costs. Without them, we may never escape this world. We must drive the attackers back! Captain! The main Zeno encampment is at the top of the Imperial Lord here. Excellent. We will wipe them out. The Elder have prepared an escape, as is their cowardly nature. Three great webway gates stand near their base. But if we can capture them, we can trap them here once and for all. Praise the Emperor. Awaiting order. Under fire. The Emperor. At your command. Venerate the immortal Emperor. He who 
stands with me. Yes, my lord. I cannot speak. I have a word. Beware the alien man. At your command. Today, the enemy carries the road. What would you have me do? What's your order? Praise the Emperor. At your command. Excellent news, Captain. By clearing the Chaos Helm territory, we have linked up with the Armored Column from 4th Company. Vigilant. Moving While the out. enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. He who stands with me shall be Rhino here. Under fire! Rhino here. There can be no peace. Today, the enemy has no road of violence. He who stands with me shall be fire. What sort? We stand the ready. Guy. Beware the alien. Never Move. vigilant. This day shall be a glorious yes, one for the Imperium. While the enemies of the Emperor are still on breath, they can be. For the Emperor! Fate is our shield. Never vigilant. Onward to glory! Fear our wrath. We are the Emperor's your command. Direct us to the enemy. Onward to glory! We stand ready. We stand ready. Heresy grows on its feet. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. Walk softly and My carry a big gun on dispersal. At your command. Beware the alien, the mutant. Knowledge is under fire. fire. I didn't know. On alert, members. The enemy must be nearby. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. This is what we like, Rally squad! Beware the alien. The next is our sheep. Direct us. The next is our sheep. On alert, members. The enemy must be nearby. Ever vigilant. Beware the alien. We stand the ready. The heretic. This day shall be a the glorious one ready. for the Imperium. What sort of What's your order? Yes, you my Bloody Eldar, trick me! Today, the enemy More shall be. More of our armor was isolated in the mountains. Beyond the Orcs encampment, they too have joined the fight. By the Emperor it shall be so. The alien, the Never vigilant. The heavens. Praise the Emperor. We stand ready. Praise the Emperor. We stand ready. Fear the nice praise of the fire. We are the Emperor's chosen. The Emperor protects. What would you have to do? Uh, we stand ready. Take and hold. Under the fire, apothecary here. No servant, Emperor shall fall. Today, beware the alien, the mutant. At your command. My aim shall not falter. By the Emperor, the fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's finest. The Emperor protects. By the Emperor it shall be so. Praise the Emperor. My aim shall not falter. Agreed. My aim shall not falter. My aim shall not falter. My aim shall... The battlefield awaits. 
Yes, my lord. For the Emperor! The Wraithbone will never answer your call, outsider. Retreat now! He who stands with me shall be my brother. Faith is our seed. The creditor at your command. The Emperor's finest. We cannot what allow them to hold the gate for long. Begun. Show them no the mercy, brothers command. and sisters. Commencing infiltration. Under fire! Scouts charge. I did well. This day shall be a glorious we are the one. The Emperor's Awaiting orders. We stand ready. Predator tank here. We are the Emperor's chosen. Maintain it. We stand ready. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. The Fallen shall ever ever be remembered as the Emperor's finest. Under Rise, Quad! This is a ride. Praise the Emperor. Praise the Emperor. By the Emperor's shame, the Emperor shall move. Walk softly and to us now. We are trapped on this world. The Avatar of Cain has fallen. Go, all of you. Find what refuge you can in the wilderness of this world. Escape is still possible, Farseer. I do not deserve that title, Harlequin. My vision has failed us all. My fate is here, and I shall not flee from it. had suffered Eldar trickery on Tartarus and Rahe's paradise not long before their arrival on Cronus. In Tyria, they avenged their fallen battle brothers with alien blood. By sealing the Eldar Farseer Taldir's webway portals, they blocked any possibility of her escape. What followed was a careful hunt for every last alien in Tyria, culminating in the death of Tall Deer herself. The chapter's librarians, for their part, spent much of the aftermath of the battle studying the remains of the fearsome demon summoned up by the Eldar. This so-called Avatar of Cain, the savage incarnation of a blasphemous alien god, crumbled into inert matter at the battle's apex. Epistolary Antaeus, senior librarian on Cronus, made sure that each piece was collected, catalogued, and shipped back to the chapter librarium. In later years, this would cause the Blood Ravens no small amount of trouble.
When the tide of war turned against the Tau, they faced attack in their stronghold in the city of Asharis, renamed Tarshan by the aliens. The aliens were well entrenched, however, and ready to mount a vigorous defense. Shas Okais, the Tau military leader, made his headquarters in a mighty citadel in the city's center, forcing attackers to wend their way through the tight city streets, exposed to sniper fire and ambushes. Outlying bases in different quarters of the city supported his strategy, with Krut warriors and powerful armored units harassing attackers even further. The Tau's only strategic vulnerability was Unity Plaza, the city's main public space. A sophisticated communications tower there could potentially be used by an attacker to expose the stealth units positioned across the city. Okais knew, however, that his attacker's ultimate objective would be assassination, not conquest. Onel Shorez, a member of the mysterious ethereal caste, led the Tau forces from the citadel in Tashin. Were he to die, Tau forces would crumble. But as long as the ethereal lived, the Tau would defend Tashin against all comers. Okais, are the troops ready? Yes, Arnel. The Earth cast is completing construction of the Montcar Command Post. Our armored units are ready to deliver the killing blow. And our Krut allies? Also ready, Arnel. The Karyun Command Post in the city's Krut Quarter is prepared and the Shapers have readied the finest of their warriors. Stealth teams are taking position across the city, ready to strike where the enemy is weak. Through to the troops, please. Soldiers of the Firecast, Krut and Vespin allies, today we stand as a bulwark against the selfish, the soulless, and the mad. Today we must drive back our enemies from our city and from our world. Today, more than ever before, we fight for the greater good, and we will triumph! Your Emperor does not rule you, human. Created. The Emperor rules all, alien. You'll learn that soon enough. You have nothing to teach me, Zealot. Destroy the yes, my lord. Weapons at ready. Emperor your order. Praise the Emperor. Faith and duty. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Faith is ever vigilant. Command Who post. stands with Report. me shall be my Our car command post online, Shazo. Crisis suits ready for combat. The Kion post is safe in the crude quarter. We will defend it, Commander. For talent. Send strike teams at the enemy, but protect your positions! Raise the Emperor. Team we leaders, the engage the enemy! We are strong. The Red Dust is the Walk softly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
ever vigilant. The deal to serve knowledge is power. positions. Scouts charge. Getting into position. Scouts charge. Scouts charge. For the greater good! We will move ahead. It's danger. We will root it out. Scouts charge. Search commencing. Under Scouts fire. charge. Command me. Rhino Dispatch me here. Deploy. Rhino transport is prepared. Deploy. This is where I need it. Stand ready. Be swift, driver. Be swift, driver. Rhino ready. Take refuge. Scouts down. charge. Knowledge is power. They're in the corner. The 
Our command post is gone. Do not surrender to despair. We have many forces left yet. We have located their communications tower. Take it for the chapter! Getting into position. Strike teams, deploy to Unity Plaza. Defend that tower. Scouts, charge. Scouts, advance. An open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. Charge. Still draw breath. Fire. There can be no. There is no such thing as innocence. I need to please a gift. No more positions. Yes, my 
overlord. Gathering intelligence. Scouts charge. Yes, my lord. We are inside the citadel. Crisis under attack. Of his the crisis team data attack. Cut them down. All crisis teams engage the enemy. Target spotted. Eliminate that Zeno, brothers. Your murderous ways condemn you to a mortal space marine. I speak his way. Royal warriors, beat these humans back. Protect them. An open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. I sense danger. We will root it out. It is better to die for the Emperor than to be suspect. Charge! Damocles Gulf Crusade, the Tau Empire had repelled the Nova Marines who landed on Cronus. In their assault on Asharis, the Blood Ravens more than avenged the Nova Marines' defeat. Marchers the Third Company had, during the Battle of Magna Bonum on Tartarus, the Blood Ravens' Fourth Company fought its way through the streets of Asharis, one block at a time. Pushing back at the Tau fire warriors and crude carnivores with steely determination. The Tau commander, Kais, did manage, however, to cheat the Blood Ravens of one prize, namely, the body of the ethereal Shiores, which would undoubtedly have ended up under study in the Chapter Librarium and Apothecarion. As it was, Apothecary Gordian spent many days collecting the alien blood samples left behind when the Tau withdrew with the corpse of their slain ethereal. Those opposing Warlord Gorgut's Headhunter's Green Tide faced the same challenge the Tau had faced on Cronus for generations. Pushing the Orcs back from the deserts and cities was one thing, but dislodging them from the jungle was another altogether. Even the legendary Tau leader, Commander Farsight, had failed to purge the Orc-infested swamps of the Green Coast. Still, a complete purge wasn't necessary to break Gorgut's. The Warlord had cobbled together his great horde, or Wa, in the parlance of the alien, from a large number of fractious clans and tribes. So long as the Warlord led the Wa to victory, their clan's loyalty was assured, 
But with enemies assailing them in their very homes, discontent reared its head among the orcs. Secondary chieftains wondered if they might not make better warlords than Gorguts. With these fissures in the war widening, the orcs' enemies struck. They drove deep into the green coast, hoping to eliminate Gorguts himself and plunge the Horde into infighting and rebellion. For Warlord Gorguts, the only solution was to crush the attackers under unrelenting waves of Orc warriors. You can sneak about without me boys seeing ya! You think you can come for me, Ed? Orcs is never beaten in battle! Shut it, ya grot! The rest of them are coming and we got to be ready! Tell the boys there's some killing to do! I made them big banners to remind the clans that they better keep their boys in line! I don't want no squigheads looking to fight me when the enemy's right here. Go guts, is the war boss. Got it, you muck suckers. This here voicey box let him talk to you. So open your ears. Listen up, your grots and squigs. They's coming for us like we some kind of human kids. But we ain't. We's the orcs, and this here is gonna be one great fight! So get your choppers and your shooters ready, boys, cause there's some killing to do. Head crushers, you ready? <laughs> Foot stompers, you squiggers and sacks ready? Burner boys, you wanna fight? Rocket rangers, you in it or what? And what about you? Quick mix, you gonna let the other runts get all the good fighting done? <laughs> That's right, we gonna cross them all. This here is a right and proper. <laughs> Nash all you want, alien. The Blood Ravens are here to finish you off. What but you me with some spirit. Your head's gonna be mine. You'll meet my bolter first, filth. What is I like the way you think, Yumi. This is gonna be fun. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be Awaiting nearby. Awaiting orders at your command. While the enemies of the Emperor still we got the they can be no peace. Destroy the armor! Destroy the armor! We are the Emperor's chosen. Yes, sir. He who stands with you shall be Heresy my brother. Move oh, here, yeah, my lord. Charge. My faith is my Direct us to the enemy. My faith is my shield. Yes, my lord. Fear denies faith. Direct us to the enemy. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Fear denies faith. My will is undone. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. We stand ready. Regroup! For the Emperor! I'm so and carry a big gun. 
Awaiting orders. Orders Hearing received. for the fight of your life! And the last one, too! Ah! Here to serve. For the Emperor! My faith is my shield. Today the enemy shall perish. Rose from Hydras. Take and hold. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Under fire! This is a fight! Get him! Crushers! He's coming for ya! Scouts in position. Now, so shut it, head crushers. We're on our own now. Protect his own banner. Bet your gall guts For the glory of the Emperor. Yeah. Faith Let's and find out. out. Your burner boy gets. They right there. Get a burning. Gathering intelligence. That was the boss's big banner, you get! <laughs> big boss banner's been real good! Search commencing. Scouts charge. I sense danger. We will root it out. Scouts charge. Yes, my lord. I sense danger. Scouts charge. Scouts charge. Scouts charge. Predator tank here. Rhino here. Scouts awaiting orders. Commencing infiltration. Scouts awaiting orders. Predator take here. Predator have your command. Gorgots, let him take the more of Gorg! He ain't 
Go, push! Get him! Shall not falter! Praise the Emperor. <laughs> Golgutch's Gulgutch's big banner got blown up! Gulgutch is a crot hood of that one! I should be boss! No way! I's the boss now! Here they come, foot stoppers! Keep the trainer safe! I don't want no squid at stopping our boys! Boy! Golgut's big banner just got himself stomped! We'll stomp all of Golgut's his boy! Shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Praise the Emperor. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. Your and easy what would you for you? Beware the alien. Venerate the immortal Emperor. Walk softly and carry a big gun. On alert, brothers, the enemy must be no man. Marine, the there's war. the enemy's camp. Oh, Attack! Walk soft. More humans to kill! Down. Get to it, boys! It's time for you to meet your misbegotten maker, Orc. I made myself human, and I'm gonna While the enemies of the you. Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. The Emperor protects. On alert, powers. the enemy must be nearby. No way to the map. Praise the Emperor. The Emperor protects. You ain't got me yet. Got me one more surprise for you. The boss? Who is getting shot up? Ain't you the master of the obvious? Use the explosives. The what? The bomb, you kid. The bomb. Have your tunnels dug and ready. You sure is smart, boss. Shut it, you git! I got me a whole wall to rebuild. 
Now get me the gawk off of this here planet! As they had on Tartarus, the Blood Ravens cut with surgical precision into the heart of the Orc Horde and Cronus. The hardened space marines, sent into the depths of the Green Coast, answered the Green Tide with waves of bolter fire and the faith of true soldiers of the Imperium. The swamps ran red with the blood of orcs as camp after camp fell to the Blood Ravens' purge. That warlord Gorguts managed to escape Cronus weighed heavily on Captain Thule. He surmised, correctly as it turned out, that the orc would someday return to plague the Imperium again. In an effort to make sure no other orcs survived, Fuel ordered a massive scorched earth campaign, burning hundreds of thousands of square kilometers of jungle to purge the orcs once and for all. The full extent of the Necron presence on Cronus did not become clear until those opposing them launched raids into the catacombs under the Thur Abyss Plateau. The first Necron massacres on the planet had occurred there, and their enemies expected to find some sort of alien bastion. Instead, they found an entryway into the underworld. Garbled reports from doomed scouts sent into the cavernous passageways revealed a network of catacombs honeycombing the entire plateau. Some of these now stood hollowed out, while others served as staging grounds for Necron forces. Worst of all, however, were the deeper tunnels, where row upon row of Necrons still stood slowly waking to join their lord's global genocide. The attackers settled on a dangerous gambit. A strike force would enter the catacombs and plant a massive explosive device deep in the main cavern. An explosion there would collapse the entire network, crushing or sealing off the legions of still dormant Necrons and shattering those already risen. It remained to be seen if anyone could deliver this device, much less escape in time to continue the fight across Cronus. Fall back and regroup! Weeds. 
My lord knew this day would come. He had plans for us all. We would purge this world once more. So come, poor victims of life. We will grant you tranquility in these crypts. Cronus will be a tomb world once more. Captain, Take the Tech Marines report that the plasma bomb is ready. Thank you, brother. We must now deliver it into the belly of these alien catacombs and bring the sky crashing down upon these Necrons. Ever we may cost our lives, we will not fail the chapter. We fail if we give our lives needlessly, brother. To die in the chapter's service is praiseworthy, but not if it leaves us without the means to fight the battles to come. Your leadership well, is our most valuable really. resource, Captain. You above all must survive to continue the campaign. And Under so fire. I will, brother. Command me. Take me into battle. For the Emperor! I am ready to serve again. It is better to die for you than live for yourself. I await your instructions. For the Emperor! Yes, yes my lord. One initiated. We are Even the Emperor. Even if death I still serve. Where do you need us to my knowledge is at your disposal. We stand ready. Faith is eternal. I await your instructions. Build routine 17. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, the there can be no will. peace. Where do you need us most? We are the Emperor's chosen. By the Emperor it shall be so. My knowledge is at your disposal. Yes, Captain. Our sensors are picking up unknown energy readings from these points. We'll have to find out what's there. I don't want any surprises on the way out, Sergeant. Back. Clint, Burge, Even in Kill, death, and your no command. Sir. Under fire, stand ready. Yes, make way. I what stand ready. He who stands with me shall be my brother. You have penetrated but the very surface of our catacombs. More and more of us rise from the depths with every passing moment. We are the Emperor's chosen. Yes, most one. I shall end. Direct us to the enemy. I am the instrument of his I will. Ever vigilant. Your will. I am the instrument of his will. Command me. The immortal Emperor. Fear not, son. Your will. An open mind is like a fortress with its gate. This one for the Imperium. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. My faith is my I am the instrument of his will. The Scouts, energies are coming from that alien artifact. It brother. must be some form At of last, weapon. Destroy war. it before they can target our men. The fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's fight. Under the shadow of the At beacon by the of unlife, so the fallen rise again. These particular catacombs seem to void Praise of Necron the defenders. Emperor. If we can find a second access Even point, perhaps we can use them to our advantage. Under fire! My aim shall not falter! Another Attack Necron artifact! Destroy it! 
Darkness veils your eyes By the courage of your senses. Before the beacon of like the, the deceiver, the Emperor and your are like deadly shadows. Hidden from your sight. This day shall be a promise. The enemy must be nearby. An open mind is like a fortress with Another its gates unlocked the empty and unguarded. We can move troops through here with ease. On alert, brothers. The enemy This is where I leave. Under the Emperor fire. protects. You await your command. My faith is my shield. Where do you need us most? By the Emperor, it shall be Where do you need us most? Where do you need us most? Your will. You await your command. Where do you need us most? By the Emperor, it shall be so. Disappointment. Charge! Charge! Where do you need us most? Space Marines attack! You await your command. You await your command. None shall survive. Where do you need us most? A moment of laxity spawns a lifetime of heresy. Yes. Necron Monolith. Brothers, well, destroy the these Xeno the abominations before they rise to attack no us. Where do you need us most? None shall Under survive. Another Necron artifact. Destroy it! All machines serve the Catan in the end. Bring your vehicles before the beacon of the Void Dragon and watch as they turn against you. None shall survive. None shall survive. We seek the enemy. Red Raider, armor transport here. Under fire. We await your command. None shall survive. By the Emperor, it shall be so. May you lead us to victory. Where do you need us most? Make way. None shall survive. Once more, we go to battle. None shall survive. Finest reporting. Excellent. Another access to the emptied catacombs. We can move troops through here with ease. Land Raider, armored transport here. The Emperor's finest reporting. The Emperor's finest reporting. The Emperor's finest reporting. How can I serve? Another Land Necron Raider, artifact. Destroy it! Time itself bends. To the will of the Catan, fools. Come before the Chronometron beacon and be frozen the into the stillness of death. Land Raider, 
We shall know no fear. Under fire! Land Raider, armored transport here. By the Emperor, it shall be On so. alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Beware the alien, the mutant, the heretic. Brothers, the plasma bomb is planted. We make for the surface. Confirm. The bomb shall be forever a glorious one for the Imperium. The Emperor protects. By the Emperor, it shall be so. I stand ready. Under fire. He who stands with me shall be my brother. By the Emperor, it shall the be so. The Fallen shall be forever remembered as the Emperor's fire. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperial. By the Emperor, it shall be so. By the Emperor, it shall be so. By the Emperor, it shall be so. The Emperor protects. Land Raider, armored transport here. Praise the Emperor. How can I serve? Knowledge is power. Please at your disposal. Approaching target, Rhino here. Land Raider, at your disposal. Rhino here. Land Raider, at your disposal. Rhino here. against the Necrons in the catacombs under the Thur Abyss Plateau became the thing of legend among the Blood Ravens. Descending into that sepulchral underworld, the Battle Brothers must have felt cut off from the Emperor's light altogether. Nevertheless, they fought with all the courage and steel of the Imperium's finest, bringing holy fire to the enemies of all life. Those brothers who emerged from that charnel underworld marked their armors with a small elongated skull, emblematic of their fallen Necron foes. The chapter's second company, which contributed most of the forces sent into Thur Abyss, would add the Necron skull to its heraldry and adopt the motto, Victory Over Death.
In a foul shrine in the Demos Peninsula, lost souls summoned the Black Apostle Eliphas to Cronus. There, the word bearers raised their black temples and launched their assault on the world. Eldritch energies split the earth with abyssal fissures and remade the lush jungles into a nightmare landscape, pulsing with ruinous energies. A master demagogue, Eliphas made an advantage of the fractious nature of those bent to chaos. Instead of relying on a unified defense, he allowed his champions and cult leaders to establish their own satellite temples where they could pursue their own dark rituals. Any attacker who hoped to defeat the word bearers would have to run a bloody gauntlet of heretics, including some of the Legion's most veteran Chaos Space Marines. Indeed, killing the heretics on Cronus was pointless so long as the Great War Portal and Eliphas's Bastion remained open. The dark spells of the sorcerers Amphion and Zethus maintained this massive rend in the fabric of creation, granting Eliphas endless reinforcements. So long as the Demos portal remained open, there could be no victory on Cronus. With the 37 keys of Zinch, we open the way for our brothers. With the thousand whispers of Slanesh, we call to them. With the 12 plagues of Nurgle, we fell their enemies. And with the mighty axe of Khorne, we cut open the world for them. Yes, come forth to bear the word of chaos. Hear my warnings, unbelievers, carried to your minds by the power of the Prince of Excess himself. We have raised altars in this land so that we may sacrifice you to our gods. Veterans of ten millennia of unholy war wait to grind you beneath the treads of their mighty boots. The Chosen of Corn hunger to add you to their bloody tally. The Blood God himself has marked this land and will claim your skulls for his throne. There is no hope in opposing the inevitable. Put down your arms, unbelievers, and bow before the forces of chaos undivided. Nice fight of fire! Welcome, Captain. Through and the destruction of our enemies, we earn our salvation. I won't listen to your lies, heretic. Then I won't lie to you, brother. You've been lied to enough. We prevail. The Brown Fleet are ready for battle. This has arrived. Knowledge is power. I By the Emperor's shall be so. None can withstand the power of the day! Such things for the Emperor! For the Emperor! For the Emperor it shall be so! To the Lord! There is no such thing as this. We stand ready. ready. Praise the Emperor! An open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. Even in death, I swear. None! of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no An peace. open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. I serve. Charge! Under fire! Praise the Emperor! Knowledge is fire. I did well. The mute. 
mutant. The Herald. <laughs> your command. What would you have me do? I serve mankind. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Today the enemy shall move. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. The Emperor's finest report. It's gate unbound and unguarded. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. We await your command. Faith is our shield. Beware the alien, the mutant, the head. The machine spirit is prepared. Rhino ready. His will be done. Squad deployed. Land Raider, at your disposal. 
will. Once more, we go to battle. Basilica of Tornets again. Fear not, Apostle. The Basilica is reserved for those who may redeem themselves. No. No! 
You will have no such chance. Raven's assault on the Black Temples of the Demos Peninsula replayed the tragic battles of the Horus Heresy. Once again, Space Marine fought Space Marine. One side holding true to the Emperor's light, the other fallen into blackest heresy. The Blood Ravens faced this battle with zeal, anxious to bring down those who had betrayed all they stood for. In the end, the Blood Ravens weathered the assault of demons and traitors alike, closing the warp gate that was feeding the heretical army and bringing down the fiendish Black Apostle who led it. As for the desecrated temples and foul shrines that dotted the landscape, the librarians of the chapter cataloged and recorded all their contents. They then undertook the safe transport of these black artifacts to their librarium, where they could be safely destroyed. After many long and bloody battles, the Blood Ravens finally completed their purge of the planet Cronus. The battle barge Litany of Fury remained in close orbit, imposing a strict prohibition on any visits to the world, while the Fifth Company maintained the Castellum Incorruptus in North Bandia. The Imperial Guard Segmentum Command lodged protest for the Blood Ravens' actions, reporting them to the Inquisition. The Blood Ravens successfully defended their actions, convincing their interrogators that General Alexander should have bowed to the Blood Ravens' orders and withdrawn. Nevertheless, the Inquisition kept a watchful eye on the chapter, for the rumors of hoarded relics never fully abated. Likewise, Many in the Guard's command structure never forgot the blood shed on Cronus. And indeed, the darkest time in the chapter's history began soon after the war's end. <laughs> 